Around campus, we call ourselves DM Squared, which stands for Davis, Maddox, and Meredith. We never miss any days because we cannot wait to come to work and make the light shine in our students. And then we secretly made jokes about them. <laughs> so Kevin, he was our secret patrol officer. When Carrie and I stirred the pot, like we usually do, he would just stand and look serious, and no child would try anything. It was their height, especially with the young men. He had a very low tolerance for disrespectful boys to any woman or girl. Carrie and I handled the girls, and he handled the boys. We had each other's back at all costs. We worked summer school, tutorials, etc. We did not skip a beat. Max had a communication degree and, and quickly became our cameraman videoing all the wonderful things we did around campus. He was also our comedian. We, when he noticed the stress get to us, he would break out and make us laugh by printing funny gifs that became popular later on. And he would provide me my stress reliever, which was Snickers and Coke and Cheetos. <laughs> he provided Carrie her orange sun kiss, and we knew his was Cheetos and Coke Zero or T. As a team, we came in as champions for our underserved students. When we saw, when we when you saw one, you saw the other. We were always together. We were the three musketeers. We would make requests for supplies, and leadership would always look to Maddox for approval, thinking that Carrie and I was just trying to spend their money. We knew they didn't have it. We were loyal servants to the communities we served, being counselors, aunties, uncle, prayer warriors, grant writers, program developers, and sugar dealers. By that I mean Kevin walked around with, a, with magic in his backpack, which turned out to be a reward system for positive behaviors. I would notice students look at him and show how tight their line was, and all of a sudden I see something flying across the room. What turned out to be the kids were doing things that he taught them and we didn't know. So when the line looked so good, I said, what is he doing? But anyway, he, uh, he would give them chocolate or anything that they liked. He was a cool, smooth math teacher. He was not a selfish man. I quickly learned and copied and gave credit to my veteran teacher who taught me some of his tricks. Kevin, I, Kevin and I worked at so many different campuses around Houston, from Third Ward to Southwest Houston to Fifth Ward, and then I finally stopped back to Blackshire Elementary, where we worked and showed growth, and then we moved around. A couple of those years were just Kevin and I, and we would do what we call one and done. When we noticed our views didn't match with what we wanted for the students, we would leave. Our last time working together was back at Blackshire, 2017, 2018, and that was the year we really earned our stripes. Maddox helped a student who was not on level show tremendous growth by working with the student in a small group. No one else wanted to deal with this student. By the end of the year, this student showed exceeds ex ex expectations, okay. which was a perfect score, and she wasn't on, excuse me, they were not on level. They were on pre-K level, and he showed growth, tremendous growth. Shake his head. I got it. 
but he, he would never do it. But I would get kicked out of the game at all the time because I'm out there trying to do exactly what I thought he was doing and thought he didn't have any strength. Y'all praise God with me. I wrote the word meekness down here. Later on learned that the definition of meekness is strength under control. He was strong all the time. When I was young, I was always strong when I was dumb. He was strong when he was small. Everybody who gonna talk when they say something about him, they say he was always under control. He never was out of control. And I had to learn the Bible said that me, y'all help me to preach this time a little bit more, Pastor Tom Shelley Harry. These words that we hear now with everybody from last night, we, we celebrated last night, didn't we, Shelly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to lift them up. And we had a thousand people in our graduating class, and all of them want to be here just in compliance with this social distancing. Because this here was a good man. If you say good man, a lot of times you treat pastors, they don't say nobody good because ain't nobody good but God, but the Bible says. But as close as it is to it, this man here, no enemy. Nobody say anything bad about him. I used to just sit there and look at him, hey, you ain't tough enough, man, you ain't strong. Then the word of the Lord came to me that he was strong. He had inner strength. And he carried it throughout his life. And I just praise God, I, I'm glad I drove from Dallas and I would have came from anywhere in the world to just sit here and speak because you don't run across brothers like this too much. Y'all right. say amen to that. Amen. Say amen again to it by faith. Amen. And when you run across them, they, hey, I'm feeling something right now, Pastor. A lot of them leave soon. God takes them on home. They either killed by some of these racist clans and policemen, but anyway, to be there as a base, sometimes they take them home. I wrote down another thing, and I'm gonna take my seat. I don't wanna go over too long. Those who was here last night, Everybody who was here last night, where we was in Galveston, just stand up right now. We're going to do the same thing here about two or three weeks ago. We looked at 10 weeks. We have saw no basketball. I know I don't look like it. I played basketball. High school, college, and semi pro. But we had a thing on TV called The Last Dance. Did y'all see that? This is going to be our last session of The Last Dance. This is The Last Dance, but this is my brother. Right now, he's playing on the Heavenly Angel basketball team. If we had a chance to introduce him, y'all get started before him because y'all was here last night. All right, all right, Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the starting lineup for today's game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Starting at guard, number 51, 6'6 six, six from Galveston Ball High School, yes, yeah. Kevin Michael Madden.
The hands that are matched to the clap, he gave them to you. The feet that you're standing on, he made. The air that you're breathing, he's here. Praise God for Jesus. The Christ. The Christos. Christos. There's no one going to take the same way to stand in the world. He is our Messiah. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus the Christ.